Ahmedabad's answer to the Harvard Business School is the Indian Institute of Management. But rather than looking to Wall Street and Silicon Valley for inspiration, Professor Anil Gupta champions India's local heroes. And that's going to be my Mercury. He's founded the Honeybee Network of grassroots inventors, few of whom have formal qualifications. So when you put the manure in the furrows, normally people will put the manure one side and then lift it. Today, the institute is showcasing the work of these unsung boffins in an attempt to raise their profile and attract investors. First up, the power of poo. But basically, these are batteries. Right? These are bat old used batteries. So old used batteries. Yes, right. basically, the terminals are being used. Right. How do I put this delicately? Is cow dung particularly good? Well, the point is that it's charges, easily available. Oh, right. Yeah. And in the villages, when power comes only in the night and you want to hear music, it's like plugging it into the mains. Exactly. So people who can't afford to pay for the power, which is costly, and which, in any case, even if they can pay, they can't get it, mm -hmm. have an answer now. How long would this last? For a month. This will run. One month. One month. So basically, laptops can be charged. Anything, yes, can, anything be charged. can be charged. You just need to make many more boxes. Wow. And cow dung are not stingy in our country. They give you enough dung. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you see, there's no smell here. Uh, do you know? Shockingly, you there yeah, isn't. No. You, you, you I thought maybe I've got a blocked no, nose. No, there's no sting. Uh -huh. And it runs and runs. Well, it will run for a month, and then you and can month, dump, then you can use put it on your food. vegetables. That's right. Exactly. This is bullshit. Walking and talking. And talking. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. And singing. And singing as well. That's right. That's right. Melody. Yes. Ah. As if dung power wasn't enough, Anil promises me India's answer to Spider-Man. Coconut tree climbing man. I said, look, you fellows are very smart. You can take man on the moon. But when you have to take him on the top of the tree, you need our help. <laughs> <laughs> so what uh, necessitated this? For harvesting coconuts, uh, people had to climb. Mm -hmm. And traditionally, I mean, the, the images that I think we're used to seeing, uh, of people with a, with a string, using a rope. Rope, and then you and just then, go yeah. like that. But that takes much more effort uh -huh. and it requires much more skill. So was, was there a process? I mean, because this looks like a, quite a complicated piece of machinery. It's simple. Yeah, but it, uh, it has been calibrated, it has been calibrated to the strength. Oh, here we go. See, at first it just looked like a medieval torture device to me, <laughs> but... Uh, when you see it in action. But it is actually reducing the torture. Yeah, exactly, it yes. Is. The irony. In a way, that's irony, <laughs> yes. Unusual modes of transport seem to hold a fascination for Indian inventors. Next, we relocate to a nearby boating lake to meet Dwarka Prashad Jorasya, who's 74 years old. Who's a maverick, as you can imagine. And in fact, he has a desire to cross the English Channel. In, in this, <laughs> what, what do you think of his chances? <laughs> well, I think I don't. I know that that's a very day. turbulent water. <laughs> calm day with the following wind. <laughs> when did he? When did he come up with this? This was uh, in the 70s, and it took us a long time to discover him. Mm -hmm. And has he come up with other? Uh, yes, he has also water skates, uh -huh. which he will uh, show us after this. Oh, so he can walk on the water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Welcome to France. Aapki Aapki Takat. Bas. Aram se, Aram se liya hai. Aram se liya hai.